Welcome back to the Norfolk Currents podcast. We are here today, down Hampton Boulevard. Will you please say hello, tell us who you are and where we are? Hi guys, this is Diane and Jason Witt, the owners of Water's Edge Winery and Bistro on Hampton Boulevard. We are in a beautiful space. If you have not been here yet and you're only listening to the audio, please come down because, oh my gosh, gorgeous. Please, please, please. Yeah, this is amazing. So tell us a little bit about who you are, your journey to Water's Edge. Hey, I'll, I'll kick it off. This is Jason, just like Diane said, the owner, but also the winemaker. So just retired from the Navy in September, parlayed directly into this. I wish I'd have taken a little, maybe a week off uh, between that Could transition, yep. but uh, right into this. We, we are a craft winery and everybody kind of understands the concept of a craft brewery. Mm -hmm. We're the same thing on the winery side. You'll notice that there's no vineyard down Lexan Avenue and, and Hampton Boulevard, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. But it's good in many ways, <laughs> right, yeah. right? Terroir around here. Yeah, we have uh, to figure out water grapes, I think, yeah, in sure. order to work yeah. here. <laughs> Sorry, please but, continue. Yeah, but just like the craft uh, breweries that everybody loves around here, they're not growing their hops and barley in the, in the backyard. Right. So what we do is we bring in crushed grapes from all over the world, mm -hmm. Germany, France, Argentina, California, and we craft it locally. So we ferment, we rack, we filter, we bottle, we cork, we label everything right here in-house. Very cool. Awesome. And then we have the bistro-like side of things. Absolutely. Yep. So when we were coming into it, we definitely needed to have some food to nosh on, you know, ABC liquor laws and all. Mm -hmm. But then we started to realize that this entire 7,400 square feet was a brand new build out and we had the opportunity to build a brand new state-of-the-art kitchen. Mm -hmm. So we went ahead and dove in. We par We partnered up with the Culinary Institute of Virginia mm -hmm. and designed a kitchen and we have everything from starters and appetizers to soups and salads and flatbreads, sandwiches, entrees, desserts, and brunch. So we are a full-fledged restaurant inside of the winery as well. Amazing. We also snapped up their star pupil. So as soon as Faison, our executive chef, graduated mm -hmm. from the Virginia Culinary Institute, we snapped him up. Amazing. So he's, he's here yes. as your head chef. Yes. Yep. Wow. Very charismatic, always touching tables, talking to the guests, and adjusting to their needs. Love that. Yeah. So you guys have a big sign that I'm looking towards over there that says globally sourced, locally crafted. Can you speak a little bit about what that means? Yeah, so we get these huge bags of crushed grapes. Whether it's Zinfandel, Merlot, we're actually getting grape juice from Tuscany, from Armenia, and we bring these big juice bags in. We pour them into either our 600 liter stainless steel tanks mm -hmm. or some of our smaller flex tanks. Mm -hmm. We add the yeast, we ferment. So the globally source is literally, we're getting it from all over the world. So if there's a bad crop in, you know, you name it, if there's a bad crop mm -hmm. in Germany, we're yeah. buying from France. And if there's a issue or prices are spiking in France, we're buying from Argentina. Yeah. So that's the globally sourced part of it. And the locally crafted is, is just like, I, I've kind of gone over is that you know, we're pouring our heart and soul into this. Yeah. So yeah. we live right down the street. This, I, I bike here when it's not too hot or mm -hmm. raining. And, and we locally craft. I mean, they're moving wine, moving grape juice, turning it into wine on, on the daily. Very cool. And can you tell us a little bit about, like, how did you get here? You're in a jumpsuit, yeah. <laughs> right? I know this is part of a helicopter vibe. So I started making wine in my khaki pants and quickly learned that was not going to be sustainable because I had grape juice and right, eventually right. wine showers every once in a while. And for yep. 20 years, he was used to putting on a flight suit every day to go into the Navy. So for Father's Day, the kids and I got him this navy blue flight suit and had it embroidered. Mm -hmm. So he's legit now. Yeah. But the story to coming here is is that uh, 20 years of moving all over the world, mm -hmm. deploying. He was deployed through COVID. The last two years of his Navy career mm -hmm. was during COVID. He spent 400 and 20 days away from us. Wow. We've got a 14 year old and a 12 year old. So when he was ready to retire, of course I wanted him to go somewhere with a steady paycheck. And he decided that he thought it would be a great idea to put something mm -hmm. for the community in this space here. Mm -hmm. uh, the building was empty and it was just calling out for something for hospitality. So he decided to take every penny and <laughs> risk it all and open this place. <laughs> Is it hospitality something like you've been thinking about for years? Is that a dream that you were we thinking just of? Alcohol. We, no, we, we've just always loved this community. So we've been yeah. here for about 10 years. We mm -hmm. finally, once I got out of the Navy, we finally had the chance to move wherever we want. Mm -hmm. And we looked over all the different, you know, garden spots we wanted to move to. But 
honestly, we didn't want to start all the way over with all of our friends and yeah. neighbors, and we've grown to love this place. We, we walk in the grocery store and we know people, which yep. is nice. And for the majority of our time in the military, we didn't know anybody. It was just our close neighbors and military friends. And, mm -hmm. and now it's just nice to, we love this community. It's Norfolk has it all. We used to, like 15 years ago, 20 years ago, we used to thought, we used to think that a hot date at uh, Outback Steakhouse was the place to go. <laughs> mm -hmm. But after being here in Norfolk for the last 12 years, mm -hmm. part of the Navy, the food scene that's Such here, yeah. the beautiful, beautiful rivers that flow through here, the community, it, it's just something that we weren't ready to leave. And so we are now here forever. Yeah, you guys doubled down. Yeah, <laughs> I love yeah. that. Deep, deep in, Same, same in. here. I ended up here because of the Navy and like now it's been 10 years and yeah. it's like no i love this yeah. like this works Me too. yes yeah we initially looked at putting in we looked at a lot of different concepts to put in here mm -hmm. but there's so many amazing breweries around here mm -hmm. we we didn't want to be the 15th brewery right and the majority of our friends and neighbors in this neighborhood mm -hmm. are still active duty navy and the majority of them are the men and they'll go away and deploy and the a lot of the wives will stay behind mm -hmm. and i know a lot of the wives don't necessarily like 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 beer mm -hmm. quite as much. Mm -hmm. They're more wine drinkers. That's just my, my uh, what I found. Yeah, in the circle, I got and that. And I was like, well, dang, what, what we should be, there should be a, a winery around here. Yeah, I love that. And private event space. So we mm -hmm. realized too, when we were actually getting ready for his retirement, it's really hard to have dedicated private event space. So the, the different venues that are around here, they have an area that they could rope off, but mm -hmm. it's not private. So one of the things that we immediately did during the build out was create this private event space that we have. It will seat up to 75 people. Mm -hmm. So you're able to experience both the wine. You could have charcuteries, a huge grazing table of charcuterie, buffet, or even plated meals. So we're using this private event space to host our dinners with our samule. Mm -hmm. We're also doing great activities within the community. And for instance, tonight there's a wedding rehearsal in here. So it's it's just been fun to see people come together yep. and use it, whether it's for a military function, retirement, Yoga. change of command, yeah. birthday parties. Yeah, so. I love that. There's like a very, there's kind of um, a blank slate in there that really lets you kind of create on top of it. As soon as I walked in, I'm like, oh, I can think of seven different things that I yes. want to do in this room. It's just completely neutral. I wanted to make yeah. sure that there was nothing hanging on the wall that would distract your eye or not mm -hmm. match with someone's taste. Mm -hmm. So just like when you go to sell a home and you want to make sure it's staged so you can see yourself in that space, that's exactly what I was trying to portray in that Very private cool. So two things stick out to me, like the community piece of the puzzle just feels like such a huge theme in your space mm -hmm. and like at the forefront how you're thinking about this in terms of who's coming in and like really the client experience and so the membership is something I'd love to like hear yes. more about mm -hmm. and then also we were talking about wine versus beer and like who likes what and then you guys mentioned that also on your taps you do have some beers coming in and your wines are going to be in some of the breweries so I'd yeah. love to hear more about that too. So I'll kick it off and talk about the membership. Sure. My family, Jason and I work here, mm -hmm. our kids are in here working. So this is a family affair, and when people walk through these doors, the guests that come in here, we want them to be part of our family as mm -hmm. well, our winery family. So we have different levels for wine club memberships. The first one is $25, mm -hmm. and that allows somebody to come in and have a complimentary tasting every day of the week if they wanted. Mm -hmm. And then our memberships go up from there. One of our most popular ones is what we call our Commonwealth. It's two bottles. It's $45 a month. It gives you also that opportunity to come in here with you or your spouse or a guest and have a complimentary wine tasting for you and plus one mm -hmm. every day of the week. When Jason and I were wine club members of other wineries, there was only certain days of the week that those amenities were usable. So like the third Thursday of the month with right. a full moon or something. And it just didn't work. Yeah. Wear the color purple and also <laughs> exactly. side ponytail. And it yeah. just didn't work with our kids' sports schedules mm -hmm. and the busy lives that we led. So. Mm -hmm. The very first thing that I wanted to do was be able to let people use the amenity of being a wine club member when it suited their schedule. Mm -hmm. So you can come in every day of the week and get a free tasting. So far, we haven't had anybody. That I think the max is like maybe three times yeah. someone's come in. Yeah. Yeah. But for $45 a month, you can come in with a guest for a complimentary wine tasting and also receive two bottles. And every Monday, you get a discount inside mm -hmm. our restaurant as well. Very cool. And the cool thing is, is if you're not sure which wine you want to take home, you can just go and, and sample it. Yeah. We have, oh, I think we have about 40 different varietals now. And part of what we're doing as well is our sangrias. Mm. And when I think of sangrias, I think 
uh, you know, prior to opening up the winery. I think of old wine that's past its prime that somebody's mm -hmm. gonna put in a bucket, throw some sugar and some fruit in it and extend the life. Yep. But that's not what we're doing here. We start off with a Pinot Grigio base or a Riesling base for our, our sangrias. Mm -hmm. We ferment, we rack, we filter just like we do with our, our standard wines. And then we add that fruit, the essence, whether it be the toasted coconut or the lime fiesta or one of the various types of um, sangrias that we have. And they're, they're excellent. And I can say from now experience, they're excellent. We this is fun. We definitely <laughs> needed to make sure you were yes. well versed on our wine before we sat down and had this interview. And I always think interviews go a little bit more yeah. fun yeah. when you have a little bit of something. You something have to inside. know what you're talking about to be able no. to comment on no. it. So now I can say with full yes. integrity, like I have tried this and, and this is delicious. fun. Come by. Yeah. <laughs> and then you mentioned the beer. So we mm -hmm. are a full restaurant. So we wanted to be able to hit every palate when it comes to mm -hmm. something refreshing. So so we have tapped into the local community for beer. We've got mm -hmm. Kova. We'll have soon some other microbreweries yeah. that are local to Norfolk here. And again, we're just supporting each other. And the local breweries as well. If you go into a local brewery, Kova is a great one, for example. It's a mm -hmm. pour-your-own system there. And they have wine on tap. Mm -hmm. So soon, Jason will be wholesaling the wine in kegs, mm -hmm. which allows you to just have like one big giant box of wine but it's good wine <laughs> high quality yeah high quality and those kegs in the sangria and in the, the white wine will just simply hook up to that brewery's kegging system mm -hmm. or another restaurant's kegging system and it keeps the oxygen from hitting that wine so mm -hmm. the quality is great every pour and it keeps it nice and cool and that's another thing. You mentioned the quality of the wine. We're getting the best grapes from all around the world. We're not limited by, you know, just one or two vineyards. It's all over the world. And because we get the grape juice, we bring it in here and we ferment and, mm -hmm. and create the wine here. Mm -hmm. It is literally going from the tank to the table. So very little preservatives are put in. Mm -hmm. You can imagine these big mega wineries pumping out, you know, tons and tons of this stuff and wherever where you know chicago right and then shipping it all the way across the country and then sitting in a warehouse and then sitting on a shelf here and it could be months and months before it gets mm -hmm. to somebody's wine glass here it's literally from the tank and i walk it out to the table so very little preservatives people talk about sulfites yep our parts per million are extremely low we're not organic but we utilize a lot of wineries that have that grow their their grapes biodynamically mm -hmm. and like i said we just don't need that many preservatives in the wine because it's not it's not going overseas right it's right. not going to a big warehouse yeah. in yeah. chicago but, and the small batches are great too so when we first opened he was immediately starting that sauvignon blanc oh. and we quickly sold out of it so mm -hmm. then he was getting another batch going yeah it sounds like there's a huge value just around the quality of what you're making both mm -hmm. in the What's the exact term for the room? The tank room. Line? The tank room. Thank you. Tank's tank room. Tank's tank room. Um, yeah. And then also in the kitchen. Can you talk a little bit more? Because it sounds like you've been very intentional and in like bringing in the Culinary Institute is such a pro move. I love that. <laughs> it is. But also opening up a restaurant in this foodie town that yeah. we are all so blessed to live in was also really nerve wracking. So mm -hmm. we're just trying to complete a guest experience mm -hmm. by having a delicious food. We have one very, very small freezer that keeps the ice cream and the french fries in. <laughs> yep. The rest of it, it's all brought in fresh daily. We've got uh, some beautiful yellowfin tuna, delicious sirloin steaks, along with a lot of different appetizers. Mm -hmm. Because when you come and you drink, you're often having fellowship with other people. Right. So having those grab and goes and, and, yeah. and that opportunity to snack while drinking is a great experience. And the charcuterie boards just go so good with, with the wine. Yes. We have all these amazing cheeses yes. and meats that we're putting on there. So we're open for lunch daily. This mm -hmm. building used to have taste in it. Mm -hmm. If you're not familiar with the building and it was open at 11 o'clock for lunch daily. Yeah. So we decided to kick things off with an 11 o'clock opening and we have our lunch options. We have a, a lunch special where you can do soup and salad or soup and a sandwich. And then it just kind of goes right into dinner time. Awesome. And then you guys have a brunch menu. You have trivia happening. Yes. Like, there's a lot going on. Oh, yeah. On. We're, we're making sure everyone yeah. has a great time when they come in. So we do have brunch on Saturdays and Sundays. The brunch includes everything from just a traditional egg breakfast to our waffle tacos, mm -hmm. which is a really fun take on chicken and waffles, yeah. so it's a waffle in the shape of a taco, and our breaded chicken nuggets, 
with some delicious berry jam on top. It's Yum. just absolutely divine. Oh, and, and our jam is made from, so I, I get grape skins, Zinfandel or Merlot wow, grape yeah. skins. And a lot of times I use the majority of them to make the wine. Mm -hmm. But what I'm not using, we we pass to the kitchen and they've, they've been turning into this amazing whether it's pure Zinfandel mm -hmm. or Riesling grapes, or they're turning mm -hmm. it into jam, and it's just fantastic. We have a Cabernet butter that incorporates yeah. the Cabernet that you make in-house. We have a sparkling crema that goes on, which is using the brute sparkling or the almond sparkling from the cellar as well. So wow. definitely hitting a lot of notes. You mentioned Sean from Bar Live. He comes mm -hmm. in here the last Wednesday of every month. We have flower arranging classes that are in here once a month. We're kicking off things with yoga. The first Saturday of every month, 10 a.m., we're doing yoga in that private room mm -hmm. where you get to roll Sadly, your mat we, out. we can't have the, the goats in the restaurant. No goat yoga. <laughs> unless we're serving them. No, 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 no. Not um, yet. So we're doing that. <laughs> yep. We also have our outdoor patio yes. that is dog-friendly, fur, fur baby-friendly. We've got some great branded bowls. Love that. And some dog treats ready to go. So we just want everyone to be able to, whether you bike or walk or take a golf cart or drive, we want everyone to come in <laughs> yeah. and feel like you're stepping into our house. I love this and I feel like you guys are doing such an exceptional job at taking something that can feel very like high and mighty you know what yes. I mean like the wine world can be a bit oh, yeah. scary yeah. to walk into yes. but you've made it so like human and like your level of friendliness and just really thinking about what people want yes stands out and the menu like looks delicious but also like I know what the words mean you know what I mean it's yeah. like, sure. very, yeah. like for sure yeah. Yeah. yeah and again a lot of the breweries around here because that's what Norfolk is really known for mm -hmm. so when you go into a brewery you can bring your kid you can bring your dog you can bring your friends so the same vibe goes here we're kid friendly it's that same vibe but we're wearing polo shirts and you know the floors might be a little cleaner here <laughs> fair enough well thank you both so much for taking the time for this conversation but also just for taking the chance and doing this like it takes courage to build something like mm -hmm. from scratch and to do literal building and bringing things in and you're like innovating here I think with the craft wine mm -hmm. and to have that in this area is just so cool so thank you both so much thank yeah. you we Thanks really appreciate it yeah Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> this, and I feel like you guys are doing such an exceptional job at taking something that can feel very like high and mighty, you know what yes. I mean? Like the wine world can be a bit oh, yeah. scary yeah. to walk into, yes. but you've made it so like human and like your level of friendliness and just really thinking about what people want yes. stands out. And the menu like looks delicious, but also like I know what the words mean. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like sure. very yeah. like, for sure. Yeah. 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 And again, a lot of the breweries around here, because that's what Norfolk is really known for. Mm -hmm. So when you go into a brewery, you can bring your kid, you can bring your dog, you can bring your friends. So the same vibe goes here. We're kid friendly. It's that same vibe, but we're wearing polo shirts and, you know, the floors might be a little cleaner here. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, thank you both so much for taking the time for this conversation, but also just for taking the chance and doing this. Like, it takes courage to build something, like, mm -hmm. from scratch and to do literal building and bringing things in. And you're, like, innovating here, I think, with the craft wine. Mm -hmm. And to have that in this area is just so cool. So thank you both so much. Thank yeah. you. We Thanks really appreciate it. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>